Now, in contrast to the metals where only the electrons are involved in conducting, we have studied in class 11th that there are certain electrolytes which when added to water, like electrolytes like the no common salt, NaCl. <coughs> if you add, add NaCl to water, what happens? It splits into Na plus and Cl minus ion. And it is these ions which, which travel in face of the electric field that is set up. So the positive ions, they migrate towards the negatively charged terminal. And the negatively charged ions, they move towards the positively charged terminals. So, <coughs> so this is the second type, which is, the, which is called the, the electrolytic or, or, or let me first give a, give an introduction. Conductance due to the addition of due to the addition of electrolytes into a solvent is called is called electrolytic electrolytic or ionic conductance <coughs> here The conductance is due to due to ions. Okay, we have we have, we have already seen that, and it's a simple thing to understand. If there is a beaker and with with water in it, and I add <coughs> and I add. and I add NaCl to it, what happens? It splits into Na plus and Cl minus ions. And if, if there are electrodes in this water, okay, then these ions have a tendency to migrate to the oppositely charged electrodes. So the negative to the positive, positive to the negative. Okay. Now, now this conductance depends on so many things. So the first thing, the very first thing that we should understand is that <coughs> instead of electrons, instead of electrons, the whole ions move in face of electric field and is responsible for and is responsible for conductance. In the solid matrix, you understand? In the solid matrix, it is only the it is only the electrons which are free to move. Okay? So for example, this is lithium. Okay. So here only this electron is responsible, otherwise, the atom as a whole stays where it is. Okay? In ionic conductance, the the atoms themselves start moving okay this is suppose suppose it was na plus so so let's say it is na plus na plus is what na plus is two eight and and one right eleven so n na plus is is this okay this is gone one electron lost now this whole atom starts moving okay now an atom is a is a heavy thing but still it starts moving fine 
in in the solid that does not happen and that is what that is the greatest difference between the between the metallic conductance and the and the electrolytic conductance and it is no wonder they call it electronic because it is due to the electrons and they call this ionic because this is due to the ions right now the second thing is that it depends on the nature of on the nature of the electrolyte added of electrolyte added okay the third thing is that it depends on the concentration how much electrolyte you add of the electrolyte added fine it also depends on the size of the ions and the solvation of ions depends on the size of the ions and their solvation what do we mean by solvation what do we mean by solvation when the ions are are surrounded by the by the molecules of the solvent so for example this is na plus and it gets surrounded by by water molecules why because 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 water molecule is slightly negative here okay it is it is delta delta minus here okay and it is something like this now how much it gets surrounded by the by the by the molecules of the solvent that is solvation when you are specifically dealing with water and you know that then you call it hydration okay so the size of the ions and their their solvation it also depends on the viscosity of the solvent okay it depends on the nature of the solvent and its nature of the solvent and its viscosity and its viscosity viscosity okay fine now one interesting thing that we will come across is its its conductivity conductivity increases with increase in temperature here it was here it was decreasing okay here it was decreasing so so the conductance the conductance increases right not the conductivity conductance okay because because you are supplying more energy to the to the ions so they are they move faster okay while what happens in this metals as you heat it up the whole matrix starts vibrating and the number of collisions that the electrons suffer increases and that reduces the velocity of the electrons okay it has been dealt with in a lot of detail in the in the electricity chapter of physics so you can refer to that for getting an insight into it okay and another thing is that when a direct current when a dc that is a direct current is passed what is the direct current direct current is the is, is a constant current the current that you get from a battery if you connect it across a resistor it does not vary with time okay since the voltage remains considerably constant over a period of time so the so the current also remains consistently constant over a period of time that is called a dc so when the dc is passed due to the electrochemical reactions due to the electrochemical reactions
due to the electrochemical reactions, this the the composition undergoes a change. Okay, the composition undergoes a change. Right? Here it was not changing. The metal does not change even after a prolonged use. Copper remains copper. But here, due to some reaction, they'll they'll change their nature if you if you do that over a over a long period of time. Fine. 